you know, good start. She's already having fun. Anywho, anywho, I'll have stop. Okay, so let's um, where do we leave off? We got new world area thing. Um, so apparently we're gonna get two new blocks in this. I'm I'm calling them worlds. I don't know what they're called. Locations, I guess. I don't know. Stop it, Olive. So I think we get a new block here. Um, which apparently is a crusher. Stop it, Olive. Uh, yes, it's the Viscerator. So we are now able to destroy blocks? Or is it just damage them? Not positive. Not sure. Well, what is... How do I start again? Fuck. This is either really simple or really stupid, and I'm not sure which. Because I f feel like the answer is is just is just this, and we just destroy the ones we don't want. Oh, jeez. Uh, right. Wait, we want to destroy all the bottom ones. Keyboard, keyboard. My only thing, though, is... Obviously, looking at this the way it is... Like, how do you destroy a bottom one without this middle piece falling into the one below it? Yeah. That's what I figured would happen. Um... Do we only need the screen? There's no screen on the bottom. So, safe to say, at the very least, that's correct. And then putting one more up here definitely seems to be the right... Oops. Oh, buttons. It definitely seems to be the right... Um, it is too wide, though. So if I I'll put one there. Now, what if I rotate this one? It's because they're all together still when it's destroying them. Um, but if I move this chunk back. Closer. Still need the conveyor belt here, though. Don't need these. Okay, so now we're at this. But again, how am I... destroy the bottom one without so I have no way of separating them do I
We can't do like a vertical rotation. I can turn it sideways, but that's not gonna help me. Nothing looking at this would make me think that any of these bottom ones in the back are a TV. I mean, I can destroy the top one. We can just get that out of the way, right? So that would be putting... I mean, I'm going to keep doing conveyor belts. We're going to do this and that. And just pretend we still have conveyor belts going. So we got that, but then how do I... I'm still stuck at, how do I separate the bottom? Uh, the new one is literally just a scrap thing, it just destroys them. It just destroys the, the blocks out. So I need to figure out how to only get a TV out of this. And I'm not sure how. Because if I destroy any of the bottom ones, the top one falls down and gets destroyed in that in that drill. Saves the middle one. So what if we move these ones back? the four piece but we're saving the TVs so then how do we want to I think at that point we just set up our normal like pushing thing right and separate them because it seems to always go in that same pattern so we do three of these we do uh, how do we, so we need to push the scrap to the front, and we want to leave the other one on there, or move it to a different one. I can't see a thing with this cat in the way. Man, I would love to be able to see the screen. Um... Let's let's go the other route. Let's let's send the small one this way. And we'll send the big one over here into a drill. Right? So we'll do that. Put a pusher here. Put a pusher here. And then you want to wire these up to a sensor. And the sensor is going to look down um, here. In theory, I think that does it. Pipes are too low. Okay, hold on. I forgot we're saving a double height thing. 
Um, okay, so we're just gonna drop these. We're gonna go up one more. Pipe this thing. Then we do a downward sensor. Okay, now it should work. Nice. Speed that up a little bit. Not too shabby. Is it is it the best? No, we a uh, bit wasteful. We had to destroy them anyway. Unless there was a way to save both of the TVs, the good ones, I don't know. Hell if I knew how to do it. it the, the game gave me a destruction thing. Of course we're gonna use it. This one should give us our other new block for this thing. Oh god, this looks horrible already. Okay, so what's that? What does this tell me? I don't know what this tells me other than what I've been doing this whole time. It's our new block. Oh, it's a blocker! No freaking way, is this what we've been looking for this whole time? We now have a blocker, finally? I... I assume this is literally the opposite of the pusher. This, this is what I've been looking for. What I've been arguing my whole life for. Okay, so what do we have? We have blocks coming out there. That's a dead guy. Where are my block sources? Oh, this thing just moves. Wait, what am I trying to do here then? What? Oh, we have to repair it. Okay. I mean, that seems straightforward. So, first things first, we need to destroy the wings. How high is that? One loss. Two, okay. Probably should do this a bit closer than starting here, but we're gonna start here. Last one falls, which is not a big deal. We can just do this. Oops. Okay, so we have that. Um. So then, it's coming out from up there. I need to. I need to somehow weld them together over here with only one source of blocks. And I need them welded in three in a line. And then I need to somehow make it into two different parts as well. Oh, geez. Um. Wow, this looks like it's going to be fun. The right. So I'm going to need to split this off immediately. So we're going to put our pusher set up in here. We only need two, though. So we're going to do that. We want one pushing right, one pushing left. Okay. 
Okay, and then we want... We need to fuse how many together? Three? So if we do that... This... Welder, welder, this one. Okay. And we do a conveyor belt. We have to stop it at the right height. So that's... I'm gonna have to go further out than this. So let's keep going, actually. Let's go there. So then we do... Ooh, this is gonna be awkward. Hold on, we're gonna take this out. Put a conveyor piece here. Right? Yes. Do that. So I need to weld these from above. Oh, that's gonna be really awkward then. Because it's gonna be a three piece. So that's gonna fall down on all of this. So I need three conveyor belts. And then we do three of these. And then that three is where we have to weld it. And we're gonna have to weld it from above, too. So, how do we want to do that? again? I don't remember. There is a way to crouch. Oh well, let's do this. And then I don't think I need them underneath anymore, but we're gonna do that. Then, we're gonna put welders here, and here, and here, and here. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's gonna be the biggest weld you've ever seen. Oh yeah, it's so shiny. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't need that many, but I need to to work this out. Excessive. I love excessive. Okay, so we do this, and we can probably just move that outward immediately. This is where it's going to get tough. So I'm gonna need to... Cause I need to get that weld in here. Like immediately. just that. Perhaps an awkward request. I was hoping you could pronounce your name. Albells. Probably better if, if it was uh, j just consider the second part of it just the word bells. Like B-E-L-L-S. And then the beginning's just Al. Um, okay, so I still need a stopper, too. Uh, because we haven't done anything with the stoppers yet. So, the stopper, the blocker, 
It can only... Ooh. Ah, oh, no problem. The stopper is going to be a problem for me. Actually, you know what? Maybe it won't. Maybe it will. Um... So I need to stop it two pieces in front of where the welds are. So if the welds are here, that means I need to stop it right where I have it falling right now. So what I'm going to have to do is put the stoppers here. And we're going to have to back both of these off one. Put another conveyor belt down, I think. It would be so sad if this doesn't end up working out. Okay, and then we need... How, what what sensor are we going to use here? What is our what is our sensor piece that's going to tell it when to when to remove the stop? It's got to be when everything's in place, right? Sensible one. When do I tell it to let go? Um, here, let's just do this. Oh good, nothing worked. I didn't put a sensor up on top. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Forgot to put this sensor in. Hold on, this doesn't count. This doesn't count yet. Hold on. It's, it's still gonna work. Trust me. Okay. Okay, so this this will work fine. I need to... Okay, so this one on, on the bottom side is gonna be the slower one. What the hell is going on there? Why is my thing jerking? Okay, this is a problem. Stop this. What was happening there? What was causing it to... Oh, it's because I, I was welding it before... It welded it together before... Hmm. I mean, I only need one weld piece, technically. So wait, how many tiles back is this thing? Two, three, four. So on the fourth one is where the weld has to be. So the weld has to be here. Problem is, it's gonna weld together before it gets to that point. There's no way that works, right? Okay, well they're falling, but now I don't have... I need the release. Side conveyors are going to be a problem after welding.
Probably. I don't know how to... No, the, 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 I mean, yes and no, like it was, but I don't, because I have to weld it from above, right? There's no other way I can weld this. These have to be welded up above, but... Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Scrap all of this, I have another idea. Uh, that one might have been fine. Yeah, I get rid of it anyway. Okay, so how about we go this route? We'll have him go this way, right? So we'll have that piece fall. We will we'll, we'll stop the, the 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 engine thingy in place. We'll push him in and then weld it that way, right? Maybe. Because because then I'll be welding on the third spot, and as soon as it touches, that should be fine. Olive, hi. Okay, so first things first, we need the stopper. So where do we? We'll stop it as far as we can, because we might as well give us give ourselves a little leeway here. The blocker sensors are gonna have to be based on these existing or not. So the block is gonna be here in front. I need one two and then if the the second one over is going to be the sensor so right yeah oh i can't do an upward sensor can i so i'll have to do an outside okay hey the lack of upward sensors dude um i don't need that though actually i don't need any of that hold on just conduit so we do this. I gotta go up one, don't I? Yes. So up one. Then we do a sensor inward. Right? So block one space and then read. So block one space, two spaces. I'm, I'm off by one. Hold on. Okay, so... It's seeing something there is what's going to tell it. Tell it to let go of the blocker. Right? Okay. Now we just got to get these pieces down. We should just be able to scroll them all the way forward. So this should actually be pretty easy doing it this way. It's literally just just let these these pieces go all the way up. Uh, we can just do this. Um, and then the welders have to be so you have the block, right? Blocking piece, one space, two space, the welder right above. So blocker, one space, two space, the welders have to be right up above these sensors. So, do that, do that. Uh, we want two downward welders. And I think that's it. Assuming that I'm, a, I'm just a straight up genius, this will work. Okay. Shaves off, shaves off the sides. Our blockers are in effect, right? Yes. We have these going. Yep, yep, yep. They fall down. It goes there. That blocker on the other side. Let's go. Comes down. Let's go. Yes. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Ooh, that's not good. Um... I need another blocker. That's fine, that's fine. 
So we're just gonna We're gonna put two more blockers here. Listen, we said if I was a genius. We we knew that wasn't gonna happen. Put two blockers here, and the condition for these ones will be to let go. Uh, to let go when it sees one here. After these blockers, maybe? That's, that's gonna be a nightmare of a friggin' wiring system, but that's, that's fine. We're not here to make it look good. So, up, up, up. I shouldn't actually need two. One should be sufficient. So let me delete this one out. Wire belts. Not up sideways. Wire is blocking the conveyor. Oh, mm, you make a good point. We would have we, we would have oh no I can't do that uh this way I can't have it link up to the other sensor there <laughs> don't worry this is fine it's just extra okay but now it won't let this through. Because that sensor is only looking back here. What if, what if, and hear me out, what if we just do the pusher? Do it the way we've been doing it before, where, the, where if the one exists over here, we use the pusher to stop it. We just need to move this sensor somewhere better. Uh, um, technically, it could just look down on it, right? So the one goes in, the sensor sees it, so it stops the next one. But now we still got two of them, because the pusher can't stop it again. Oh, everything just went to shit. What was that? I missed everything. What happened? What happened to that first one? First one's fine, but then there's already a thing down there. Um, out we need more stoppers <laughs> so we need these to stop producing we need these to not produce until something is here so this sensor is reading that already so if we take that line 
and we send it up here. I think we can just put the stopper in, right? And then when it sees it down there, it'll let it go through. Problem is, how do I separate these, though? Because these just keep friggin' shooting into existence. And then they just get backed up one to one, and then it welds them all together. Because... reasons. Oh, jeez. And that would only work for that one, too. I'd have to stop the other side as well. Let's make shit complicated, baby. So these top ones aren't working now. What, Olive? Something's wrong, and it's, I'm not understanding what's going on. So, what? Stop it! What is this doing? The left side never fell. So this blocker just activated immediately. Or it never deactivated? Yeah, this one deactivates. Why is this one not? I don't understand. Is it because of where it is? What if we put it on the other side? Still doesn't let go. What is going on with that? Oh, it's not getting power. It's because I... Okay, so I tried linking it up through this. It apparently does not work that way. It has to have its own source of power. You can't just combine them together. So now it'll work. That's so stupid. I thought you could daisy chain them. Yep. Okay, those get set down. Okay, first one's in. What happened here? Why did that one go so far? And now it's not gonna finish because the sensor's not reading it. So we need to get rid of these, just put flats. Because the conveyor belt somehow pushed it too far. So let's remove that possibility. Okay, round three. Perfect. 
First one's good. It still went too far. It's welding it. Okay, so it's welding it because. Stop it, Olive. Sit. Just come here. Sit. Stop. Okay, so we just deleted something. Stop, Olive. Sit. Okay. Stop. So I need these to not fall down until it senses this. So... That's very difficult. Because <laughs> that's what I was trying to do. And it wasn't working. I have an idea. We, we put in one more set of stupid shit. So this sensor... So this sensor here is looking for... The, these upper parts. And that's what lets this what's lets the main body go forward if they're if they exist. So if those are there, this will stop the next one from coming out. I think. The oh what the! F oh, I just got clipped out of bounds. Mother. Let me in. Like uh, really? Son of a bitch. Is it working? I can't tell if it's working. I can't get back in bounds either, by the way. Um. Um. Shit. Oh no. I'm not starting over. Wait, what is this? Wait, wait. The spawn thing? Can you push me in? No. Spawn thingy, please. Push me in. Shit. I don't know if it's working. I don't want to do this over again. Please work. It's not working. I can see it already screwed up. How did that happen? I can't see. Mother. I don't know. Um. Wait, we can just die, right? Yeah, now spawn me back in there. Thank you. Okay, what the hell happened? Okay, this time let's not get pushed out of bounds. Oh, they're in the wrong spot. Okay, okay. Um, I also have them working poorly because the next that so so the uh, the arm was coming in before the body was getting in. Which is a problem. Hold on. Let me look at this again. First one does fine. That falls down too soon. How much space do I have? Stop with the- it almost pushed me out of bounds again. Um, okay, so let's squeeze through here. Let's do this. Let's move this blocker here instead of here. Need a new conveyor belt. Fire this thing up. That's not the one I wanted to wire up. Don't do that. This one. Uh, don't do that either. 
Eh, they shouldn't wire together. Their station still be separate conditions. Okay, why is that not activating now? What? And this one went too soon. This is feeding off the power of the elf. So, okay, hold on. Fine, we'll do it this way. There. I can't have power reach that, that top one. That goes in place, that blocks. Okay. Arm, arm, block, and then it just it lets go too soon. What was the condition for these upper blocks? The upper blocks condition is this sensor. I need to move that sensor forward, that's all. Put that sensor here. goes in and something broke oh because the sensors were reading the wings not the oh it falls dude okay never mind I forgot they weren't reading the main body they were reading the wings um friggin' blast with the way I have this going. Let's see if that works on the other side. It works. Wait, is the whole thing just gonna work now? Wait, why did that just push it off? Oh, F me, dude. Why is this so difficult? Ah, oh, Jesus freaking hell, dude. I've made this so much worse, and nothing was spawning in at the end either. What is that sensor? This one is reading, if a block is there, The block is there, it stops it from spawning in. So, so the, the part that's being difficult for me is I am struggling up here. These spawn in too quick. I need a way for these not to spawn in. So I put the stoppers up there based on that sensor. So the stoppers only retract when the sensor is triggered but I don't know... I don't know what to do as far as... Do I have a normal one? No, these are all set up for weird ones. None of them are gonna show the... Is this one gonna show the game? 
Uh, no. This one? This one shows it. Haha! -ha. Move it, Olive. Everyone said get up. Oh, jeez. Okay. Fifty, I wish. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. Do it. Do it. Do she was it. making weird ass sounds, so I was getting nervous that she was gonna jump on my back while I was doing that, so I was kinda going quick. Okay, so what if, what if we move the stoppers, instead of there, we just put the stoppers back here. All right, maybe. I'm worried that's just gonna cause them all to weld together though. Because then it's going to get stuck at the welding point and it's all, they're all just going to start welding. We'll see. Reconnect those. Then I should just be able to do this. Oh, whoops. So why did it let go so soon? They retracted for what reason? Oh, was there already? There was already one there. See, it still has so much time to shoot out too, though. Uh, this might actually work, though. And now it's stuck, but why? What the hell happened here? Anyone? What? It got put off. Balls, dude. Can we just move it back further? Because I still need something here to stop them from spawning in so quick. I put a pusher on both sides. Maybe? That sounds reasonable. Uh, how did we do this before? We had this. Then the pusher was here. And then you're saying go on the other side too. This is what I need to not happen. So I need to put the stoppers further back. We gotta bump all of these back one. Because I need to stop it before another one can spawn in right behind it. Let's go back two, just, just for safety. Thank you. 
We ain't making this look pretty, that's for sure. This this whole thing looks like a nightmare and a half. Okay. So that'll stop another one from spawning in behind it. Okay, and it does stop it just in time. And something went wrong. What happened? What happened with this? It's still getting through. Look at this shit. They're just, they just keep shooting them in. Oh, Jesus. I can't get it to not spawn in that fast. Like, the stoppers just aren't cutting it. fast enough. That's why that one's a backup. This stops the next one. And then it goes. Backup catches it while that welds. Let's go. That one welds and goes. That one goes all the way up, and then it welds to the front. Okay. So it got welded to the front because it was already there waiting. In front of the block splitters. What do you mean? These things? In front of where is it where it spawns? Uh yeah. I can do that. And it'll only let go if this is triggered. Okay, okay, so let's... So it won't spawn anything in until that piece is there. Uh, how do I get around this stupid thing, though? I'm gonna go up, up. <laughs> more, more piping wires, okay. So now... That'll sit idle. Once that's there, then it shoots those through. Let's see. It might work. No, still screwed up. It's still spawning them in too fast. Because the, the time in between it takes for, for these to line up and everything isn't cutting it. The idea is there, but I need it to only... Like, I can't get it to just spawn three is the problem. And then as soon as... Like, the, it, it creates, like, three full blocks in between the, the travel time for this stupid thing. Ugh. This one seemed like it was going to be so easy at first. And this has slowly become like the biggest nightmare of my life. 
We got stoppers and pushers like everywhere. I mean, screw it at this point, just add in more stoppers. Literally just, just, if, if it's not there, just stop shit from spawning. Just do everything we can to stop the, these blocks from getting out of hand. That one right there, though, it just spawned in three. That's what killed me. No, it went through. No, it, it fell down too soon. Ah. This one. This one's reading the sensor. If there's already one there, then it's blocking. I don't want that. I want. Get rid of this. This is still working for that, though, so that's fine. I want this to. Well, I still want it here, but I want it to work off this sensor up here. coming at me. And I want it to be a blocker. So it won't let one through. still let it through. I hate my life, dude. I don't know what to do about it, dude. It still just goes through. Because it takes so freaking long in between these. The amount of shit that spawns is just ridiculous, and I can't slow it down or anything. So they're still going to spawn in is the problem. And then as soon as that next base gets there, this is going to open back up. That's my issue. Because, like, I can do it, but in the time one block is down here waiting, it spawns in enough to make three of the long parts. And then as soon as the next one appears, it just opens up and spawns in three more sets. And putting all these stoppers in aren't stopping anything. They just, they just let them go anyway. Because all the stopper is looking for is that block there. figure it out. Thanks. 
Can I just walk through the welder? Just to end it. Still got two to shoot down. That's not helping me. I can't stop two from spawning, dude. Mother. What if we also put one here? I don't know. They don't close. Because there's already so many spawned in, I can't stop it. No, I know. I don't know what I'm going for. I'm just trying to figure out a way to stop this from spawning so much. That's all I want to do. I can't stop it. The only conditions I have are, is this main piece here and are the wings in place? That's, that's the only two conditions I can control. Maybe you replace conveyors the fry did already. That's all done already. The problem is there's a second one dropping behind it that's pushing it forward. So once two drop, it doesn't matter how many just random blocks I have. As, so as soon as another one drops behind it, even if I have one conveyor here, it's just going to push everything forward. in place if there's nothing there this gets closed off this gets closed off everything gets closed off problem is it takes it, it just sits there forever like this is the best situation I have is that that's lined up right there ready to go It goes, the second one's fine, but then this falls apart because it shoots two of them in there. And then that travel time for the next one is killing me. But I have no way of stopping two of these from spawning in. I have so many things stopping everything. And none of them are working. Okay. 
just let another one... Uh, something ended up going through at the wrong spot, and I don't know what. Can you get a sensor at the top to only let second one through when the first one gets passed? Yeah, but where do I put the condition for the first one? It's on a moving belt. I already have the condition where it's in place. <coughs> but if there's two on the belt here, I can't... I can't have multiple sensors control... Can you have multiple sensors controlling something? Um, I don't know a safe way to test this. Um... I just want to see something real quick. Everything. So no matter what, if something's in the in front of any of these sensors, I can cause something to trigger. Okay, so we're just gonna go a route of a lot more sensors. Yeah, I say we start over. This beginning part is correct, though. I will say this, this is what I want. So, let's start over. That was a nightmare. Okay. So, let's do this beginning part again real quick. Let's do that. One, two, that. Okay, so that'll destroy those. Good. Okay, so then I want, and this is gonna this is gonna be a lot of sensors. I want if it sees anything. That's as far as I can drag. Okay, it's fine. I think this might be the time where we find out if there is a block limit. We gonna go so sensor heavy. I can't drag and drop sensors though. sides symmetry I don't know <laughs> force of habit I don't I, I got nothing okay so if it sees anything at all I want it to extend a stopper that uh, a pusher not a stopper
Yeah, we've we've already gone past the point of trying to be efficient though. I feel I feel like we 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 throw that to the wind almost every every map now. Why did it let go? Okay, never mind. I see it. I see it. It's only getting powered from the first one because of how I set that up. Okay, now. There we go. Yeah! Good, good. Okay, so that'll help me separate that. And then we need... So we need to stop that up here. So we need to do this again. We had blockers. And we were using blockers as long as it wasn't sensing the faceplate. Uh, I'm gonna need to have two more sensors on that. sensors nice okay so now it only send the next one through when these triggers are set that's fine okay I am already assuming I'm gonna have to rewire these behind and not above <laughs> we'll cross that road in a second. <laughs> okay. Um... I still kind of like the idea of blocking this off. Which is going to involve a lot of sensors, but is what it is. Okay, so that, we'll put that there, and then we have to do our pusher setup again. Stay on this. Uh, one that way, one this way. And this is just our normal setup to separate them half and half. I don't really have any other good way of doing this right now. Sensor. Wire these all together. That's fine. Okay, so that'll separate those. And then I need to get them down here. So let's go the extended route. I know, I know. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna weld them on the path going that way so that it can just fall. Because we are going to make a mess out of this. And you're going to love it. Okay, I've already forgotten. Where do these have to sit? So we have stopper, two, and then they have to sit. So stopper, one, two. So it has to sit one, two, three. So that's where I do need to drop it. <sighs> Freaking balls. I 
I mean, we were already essentially wired from the side anyway. I don't think it matters on this side, but we're gonna do it anyway for consistency. Okay. So we do that. It falls right there. One, two, three. We just need to... Oh, wait, no. If, if, if I drop it on that spot, I can't weld it there. So we're going to have to... I'm going to have to drop it sooner than that. Let's go here. And then we put one conveyor belt here. I think. Yes, okay. Just wanted to make sure. And then we can weld it essentially anywhere. But I need to be above, so... If that's falling there, it's gonna be one, two, three. So we do that. Do I want that, or do I want it welding here? I think we can weld them here. next part of this um, we're gonna put sensors here so that if it sees any block here or or if it sees it down here Absolute, like, guarantee any of these sensors if any of these sensors see a block I want it to block this whole thing Which would mean pushing, I'd have to, I don't want to push it this way because if it pushes a block by accident, it'll just get in the way. So let's, um, let's put the pusher here. long enough to let one through one set no uh yeah why did it let go oh because we need sensors all the way down okay as it's falling as it's falling we need sensors hold on hold on we are we are censoring up the world dude this whole thing is sensors not that one Okay. Two, three, block. That one's still in sight. Weld it in, nothing else can go through. Fantastic. It definitely caused a bit of a congestion issue, but that's fine. Okay, now we gotta get the other side going. Yo, this changes everything with these sensors. Um, this is going to be awkward. 
So again, I need to do the sensor thing the same way. But I still need it to drop on the one above the sensors. So one more. No. One more, one more. There we go. So we're just going to mimic the other side real quick. So we do this. I put our welders out here. Okay. And do two conveyor belts. Literally just just one to one mimic this side because it worked. So let's uh, let's let that roll, all right? So then we have platform, platform, platform. Sensor. Um. Oh, no. How did I do this differently? Are those sensors not feeding this? I'm not sure. I feel like I'm screwing something up and I just don't realize it yet. Well, I do realize it. I just don't know what to do about it. Okay. And then we want pusher right here. In theory, this might just work. Okay, so we got one block goes in, sits in its spot. I never set up these things. Hold on, we never set the condition for these. Um. Ooh, what is the condition for these? We're gonna have to set up a different sensor on the very end. The se it, it's a three block, so it's not gonna matter. So we're gonna put a sensor. Sensor and hardwire these to this. From behind even, okay. Now let's watch. Ready? Okay, we got one piece coming in. We got our one chunk. Second chunk, it's getting blocked off. Goes down, and why didn't it move? Oh, I need one, one conveyor belt. Okay. Do it again. Okay, so one main piece. We got our one one arm. That side let go. That one comes down. That lets go. Already a little sketchy. Yep. Yep, it's screwed up again. to not open up. So this is this is only turning that blocker on if there's already one on the further path. I need something else to block it until that's where this one comes in. We need another block in place until this sensor reads the thing. So, we're gonna put one more sensor. I need, I need to put this where it's not gonna get in the way. Um, not sure how to do this, actually. 
let's do this sensor. I'm going to delete this guy out. We're going to have to run this underneath. to the original plan where we block this off until that's in place that's in place it opens it does its thing no because it still lets the next one down before that gets there I need... I need that same condition to block these. I don't know if this will work, but I have an idea. I put a pusher and a blocker both right here. I wonder Yes. Now when that closes, when this one closes, that should push it. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so we're just going to duplicate that over here now. It's all conditional. Okay, in theory, this is going to work. So that's in place. Now it feeds the blocks out. We get three. That shuts off. Good. It lets those down. That fuses. We get one. The pusher goes in until the next one's in place. And now we have two sets. God damn it, dude. It's because they're all backed up here. Uh... It's not. So this isn't stopping them quick enough. good condition for this. What if I put up another blocker that works off these sensors? if I can squeeze this through without them merging. I don't. I actually cannot. I can't even squeeze through. Okay, let me... God, we made this so complicated. Okay, so we're gonna put another blocker in. Blocker or pusher? If this C is a block, I want it to... Okay, so this is gonna be a pusher. It's auto-linking to this mother... 
Um, we can fix that. Let's get rid of this. Okay. Now, I need to somehow... No, because that's still going to connect. Um... Can we go above, right? Yeah. Oops. Oops. Okay. That opens up. That feeds. Okay. Why did it let go? What happened? Why did my pusher stop? Because now we have the big ass pile again. Is it because it's too backed up? And it's just shooting them all down again. I need to see what happened. That opens up. First one, so that now gets seen. That should close. Oh, it's not these sensors. It's this. No, they're all linked up together. Which is a rewind button. It's still in sight. Why did it open? It should be... Oh, I didn't... It's linked up to that one... Okay, hold on. That's what it is. It's literally only linked up to that first sensor. Not all of them. Okay. Now we should be okay. Okay, that goes in place. It feeds these out. First sensor sees it. That closes the door. Okay, that falls down. It's still in the sensor's eye. That takes off. That's gonna push because now there's nothing there. Next one comes into play. They all open up. That third one's in place, so that closes. And this one closed because... Shit. So, I need to... I need to get rid of just this one. I think. I think that's literally all I have to do. So far, so good. I'm just going to speed this up and just see if it works. I think this is good, though. We got five in. Five to go. I think we did it. Such a freaking nightmare. We learned something huge, though. We can use multiple sensors to control things. Did not know that originally. <laughs> oh, that cycle score. Oh, God, all those scores were so inefficient. Oh, thank God no one's looking at those. <laughs> oh, man. Thank God. I mean, I got like 15 minutes. Let's take a look. Okay, we got the stupid computer thing again. 
Oh, we're making the computer this time. Oh, that's even worse. Okay. So this is just spitting out computer parts. Monitors twice as quick as some... Oh, they're all at weird speeds, too. Oh, Jesus. Um... Okay, so... I don't know where to begin. <laughs> I don't know where to begin with this, dude. I feel like the first thing's gotta be getting this base made. Split them up, line them up. Yeah, but the welds. Because the welds are gonna be the tough one. Because these keyboards in the front, I can't weld them from the front or the back. They can only be welded from the side or if I attach the keyboards to the base part in the back from above. And then the monitors would have to be welded from, again, either the side or the back. Because those are the only two spots I can weld them together. I feel like trying to get the, the 2 by 3 monitors first, but... Like, the keyboard should be easy. It's, it's just two. Like, that should be as simple as... It's facing the wrong way. I don't know why I put spin in there. Ignore the spin. Um... Trying to use the stuff we've learned to make this easier, but I don't think that's going to work out the way I think it is. So I need to somehow get one on the side. So what if we do this? that. We put a pusher here. Put a sensor here. Probably just go for the up sensor, make it easier. Less clutter in front. So when it senses one there, it pushes it over. No, never mind. We have to weld from above. This is going to have to go next to it. Okay. So essentially that. Good. Actually, no, that won't work, because then that pusher is, is like that forever. Uh, we can make this one a conveyor belt, though. Just, uh... Yeah, okay. Keyboard done. <laughs> Easiest part out of the way. How we want to work that over there, I'm not sure, but we have that part done. 
I still think it's going to be best to merge that to the base of the computers first. So now let's try and get these. Now I'm looking at them. It doesn't look like they have any specific orientation. But they do. <sighs> Shit. How do they come out? So I need upper right corner, bottom left corner. Why is one of the... Oh, God. You see this too, right? And these two are facing with, with diagonal upper left to bottom right, upper left, bottom right, and then this one is backwards. So one of them has to be rotated. Tw just, just... 90 degrees. Oh, I hate that. Oh, that's so awful. I don't know if that actually matters, but I feel like it does. The one with no keyboard, yes. But that means that I have to split it up into threes, though. So we're gonna have to go push her out again. So, we're going to do the same setup again. Because I've used this setup 5,000 times at this point. And everyone is just so happy to see me do the same way of splitting these up. together. Now these two should get pushed out together. So let me, let me test something. Yeah. Okay, pause. So these are bottom left to upper right. Shit. So that's not the way I want that to go. I need upper left to bottom right on the on the long ones. So they need to be rotated first. We can't just do that. Um, it won't rotate them either because I have them right on top of each other now that I think about it. Because if I were to, say, switch this with a rotator. Oops. I put it next to that. If I were to switch this with a rotator, it won't rotate the first one, only the second one. Yeah. So... Shit. I mean, that's technically still fine. I just need to weld them horizontally instead. So if we were to just do this. I mean, do you know how many levels we're in? Of course it's gonna take longer than that. So that should, should meld them, weld them the way I want. Oh, never mind. Oh, they're not next to each other. 
Okay, that that's that's an easy fix. That's an easy fix. We just switch this out with a block. That one's easy. Okay. Pause. Is this what I want? Upper left, bottom right. Yes. Okay, so we got upper left, bottom right. We got two of those now. So that is what I want. I need to somehow get the keyboards welded to the front. And then I need this one to rotate and then weld to the right side of this. Oh, God. Oh, it's going to take a lot more than 15 minutes. And I have to do all this uh, while still trying to figure this whole thing out. Um... I mean, rotating one is super easy. That I can do. The problem is I need to get this thing. Because if I rotate it, it just stops, right? Yeah, it just stops right on that thing. can't use a pusher to push it off afterwards either. if when it does the corners on these if it rotates but it just keeps the same orientation I mean I kind of knew that but so how do I rotate one without pushing out additional ones we're just gonna have to have additional ones get pushed out somehow I still haven't even touched the monitors yet. these together because I wanted to weld them here but then how do I even make that work I can't weld them from this side and I can't weld them from above because they fall down as two so they take up both spaces can't, the only option to weld these together is here, but I still need to get this one welded somehow. Hmm. 
Yeah, I do miss that one destroying stage. It's pretty fun. Correct. Yes, yes it is. Okay, so we got that part down. Now how do we... Because now I just have it sitting here. I don't have it doing anything. So this one... So I don't know what the slow part's gonna be. So I can put the conveyor here, but if it shows up before the other one, then it won't work. Let me, um, let me do that. I know the first one will show up beforehand. Because it waits for a second one. Oh, I don't have a welder. <laughs> Would help if I put the welding device in. three, I only need two, but we're just gonna go three for now. Okay, do it again. Okay, so it's always gonna be the one on the right, it's always gonna be last. Good, so that, that'll actually work. So then... over there somehow. And we want to weld this to the front. Exactly like that, but Okay, so now we're gonna do oops, two more sensors. It's gonna go super slow. We're, we're going snail route with these. So I want a sensor that doesn't let the keyboard spawn in. So we want a blocker. I don't want keyboards to spawn until this is ready. Right? I feel like I'm saying that correctly.
Okay, that lets the keyboards go. But now it's still just sending more in. Um... So then how do I tell this one to stop? We have this one blocking if those two are there. Can we also connect this to a blocker that, oops, that says don't spawn in if two are there? No. <laughs> no, we cannot. That's not how that works. Because now nothing spawns in. Um... I can't put another sensor here because I want it to fall off the left. I can turn these into sensors and look forward. That's definitely an option. And then wipe them up from back here. And then we change this instead of a blocker into a pusher. So that if something's there... So now it blocks it off. But now we didn't get enough to spawn in our, our our block to move this. trying to artificially lengthen the path. <laughs> because I figured that would buy me some more time to get that last one to spawn in. I only need like a friggin' hair more time. Instead, we just... We use this sensor again. We just put a blocker right there.
<laughs> All the excess ones just get destroyed. Nice. We wasted like a pro, baby. And what the... Oh, freaking pipe, dude. Who the hell put the pipe there? Dumbass. I gotta say, why is this side not moving now? Okay. So we got this. Now that's in place. Now this one comes out. It's shooting too many. Why is it throwing out so many of them? You know what we can do? More sensors, baby! Oh yeah! Can't tap R1 quick enough, but that's close. Nice, nice. Okay, so then these sensors... If any of these sensors are triggered, I want it to stop. Okay, so... I still haven't set up the welders over here. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, let me set these welders up. Um, how are we setting these welders up? The two fall down there. Which means they're gonna take up those spaces. Oh shit. Easy, easy, we can fix this, don't worry. Do that. No, we put a conveyor belt here. It lands, then we just put welders right up above this. So then, welder, welder, this one. Okay. In theory, this should spit out the entire bottom piece right on the floor. Nope, because now I'm blocking that. Fudge, dude. story. I don't think the sensor is even connected to anything. It's just there. Uh, that's not going to work either, is it? They're not they're not gonna go across at the same time. Unless we change this to a normal block, right? No, that wouldn't work. Oh, we're we're just we're we're struggling all of a sudden again. Yeah, no, that wouldn't work. Never mind. Ignore me. So that, so it'll stop there. We just have to move these back. Um, I 
Okay, so it'll weld there because this one's always going to be the last one to go down. It lands right there, pushes forward. So then we should be able to put the two welders back here. Okay. Uh, what was controlling my sensor over here? It's not working anymore. Oh, I gotta lower this. Okay. And probably... Uh, I can't put another one here, because that's where it's gotta shoot off. How was I doing it before? down sensor, was I? I mean, we absolutely could. Okay. Okay, everything's blocked off. Good. These boards come down. What? What happened? All the things facing the wrong way. Jeez. Do it again. <laughs> All this and we're only going to get the base bar. I haven't even touched the friggin... Oh, it didn't shoot off because... Oh, okay, dude. We need to put one more conveyor right there. Okay, now it'll work. He says. Woo! Pause that baby. Okay, so we got bottom right, up left, bottom right, up left. Arrows look good. I love it. Now we just have to somehow get six monitors on the back of this. Look at all these monitors we haven't even figured out yet. Oh god, this sucks. The easy part, yeah. I mean, I have it landing here. That's actually pretty nice. The hard part... ...is welding these together. Because again, the weld has to be on the back. I can't weld from the front. If I pre-weld the monitors, I can, I can in theory, weld them right here. So in theory, it is possible that we can just weld like that, if I can get the monitors to fall in that spot. So we'd have to drag the monitors around from the back side and then drop them right here. It does shoot these out pretty... Why do we just get two keyboards? Why are we still getting keyboards? What is going... Oh, F me, dude. I want to quit. <laughs> oh, God. This is too much. Wait, where did the monitors come from? Oh, God. They're overflowing. <laughs>
Lock the bottom part till a sensor set. I didn't read all of that, and I feel like it was all a big conversation. Uh, rows of two, drop them on top of each other, drag the whole thing past a welder. Two rows of three, I meant. Rows of three? Third layer? There's only two layers. There's only two layers of monitors. The thing is, the monitor one should be fairly easy, I would think. Because we have two routes we can go. We can do individual rotation, then just drop them. Then we have to rotate them again. Okay, here, here's the plan. It's It's late. We're gonna we're gonna leave this game on. Hopefully it doesn't die. Um, and I'm gonna come back to this tomorrow because this game doesn't like staying active. So I'm just I'm not gonna put the PS5 to sleep. We're just gonna leave it on. Hopefully it keeps me in the game. If not, we start this over again, and hopefully come up with a better plan. But I'm gonna I'm I'm good for today. Actually, you know what day is tomorrow? Tomorrow is Friday. I have taxes tomorrow. Um so probably no stream actually. So it might actually uh, we might have to keep this till till Monday. Which at that point I might just have to scrap this and restart anyway, because there's no way I'm gonna remember what I'm doing right now, and this is gonna confuse the shit out of me. I am enjoying the game, though. I am enjoying it. It is just... It is the biggest mind... screw ever for me. Like, like there's so much... stuff and blocks. But doing it in parts is probably my best option. I just have to... Not as... Yeah, I know. Can't wait to find out how much money the government took extra from me. Yay. Anyway, take care, guys. I'll see you around. I should I should be good for Saturday. So, who knows? Have a good night, everyone.